Hello, good day everyone. Today we're going to solve quadratic equation by extracting square. Hello, good day everyone. Today we're going to solve quadratic equation by extracting square root. So we have here example number one. Suppose we have uh, x squared is equal to 81. So in solving the variable x here, using extracting square root, remind you that uh, in extracting square roots, it involves isolating the square and then applying the square root property in order for us to solve the equation. Okay. So in this case, we are going to raise both sides of the equation, left and the right, by one half so that this will become x squared raised to one half the right hand side still raised to one half we have 81 raised to one half and then after that if you have to convert the or rewrite the fractional exponents into radical this will become equal to the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 81 so, tandaan po natin that when we are extracting square root, huwag po natin kalimutan na include yung positive and negative when taking the square root of both sides. And after that, is we need to apply the square root property, then solve the result, resulting equation. So, in this case, this will become equal to, we need to cancel it out. X now becomes equal to plus or minus square root of 80. When. So, nagkataon that the numerical coefficient or yung radicand natin na 81 is a perfect square. So, this will become equal to x is equal to plus or minus 9. Square root of 81 is 9. So, we have two values of x here. Meron tayong dalawang value dito. Yung x is, you may rewrite that into this form. x is equal to positive 9 and we have another value of x here which is equals to negative 9 so we can check this based using our original equation at the top we have x squared is equal to 81 pag pinalitan natin yung x dito ng positive 9 so still the answer is equal to 81 and then the other value of our x which is equals to negative 9 Still, the result equals to 81. So, square, x squared is equal to 81. So, the value of x there is positive 9 and negative 9. So, another example. Suppose we have number 2 example. Suppose we have x squared minus 8 is equal to 1. So, in this case, as we notice, the numerical coefficients of our x squared here in this first two example is still equal to 1. So no need for us to... Then I have to give you uh, another example later on, mamaya, which is not equal to 1 on how you papakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin may manage po ito. Okay? So for another example number 2, we have uh, x squared minus 8 is equal to 1. So, kinakailangan ma-transpose natin yung 8 so that x squared here yung matitira doon sa ating left hand side ng ating equation. So, magiging x squared by applying addition property of equality, negative 8, mag-add tayo dito ng 8 sa ating left hand side ng equation. Then, mag-add din tayo doon sa ating right hand side ng 8 so that uh, i-apply natin yung addition property of equality. But in other uh, solution, pwede namang itatranspose lang natin doon sa right hand side. But be sure that we, can, we will change the sign of it. No? So in this case, magiging 0 ito. So matitira na lang dito sa kaliwang side ng ating equation ay x squared na lang at saka then 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Then again, so as we notice, yung ating... Uh, form na ngayon is pareho na doon sa ating number 1. Then, 
we have to follow same step dun sa ating example number 1. So, mangyari dito, we, need to, we have to extract square root now. x squared of x. Or the square root of x squared is equal to square root of plus or minus square root of 9. No? So, wag kalimutan yung plus or minus kasi magiging dalawa yung sagot natin. And if we have to check that, katulad kanina, is still magiging tama yung result natin. No? So, this will become equal to square root of 9. And then, 9 again is a perfect square. So, ang tanong is kung paano natin maimanis ito, yung final answer natin, kung halimbawa hindi magiging perfect square yung radical radicand natin. No? So, mayroon tayong uh, another example mamaya kung paano natin makukuha yun. So, ang final answer ni result natin. So, we have here x square root of x squared. Makakancel yan. Since 1 half ito. So, 1 half times 2 is equals to 1. x na lang matitira. Then, this will become equal to plus or minus 3. So, again, we have two values of x here. We have x is equals to 3 and x is equals to negative 3. So, these two values only can satisfy the given original equation. So, we can check this. No? Pwede natin may check ito no? based on sa ating original equation. So, we will try to check. We have x squared minus 8 is equal to 1. So, palitan natin as first value. That is positive 3. First value of our x. So, we have positive 3 square minus 8 is equal to 1. Then, 3 times 3 is equals to 9 minus 8 is equals to 1. Then, 1 is equals to 1. Same is true. We can check using our another value of x here which is negative 3. No? So, palitan din natin yung x dito ng negative 3. So, suppose palitan natin ito ng negative 3 still. Again, to come up with this, the same result. Kasi magiging 9 pa rin siya. Negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9. So, ganun pa rin. No? So, we'll go now to our next example. So, we have here that the numerical coefficient of our x squared is not equal to 1. No? Suppose we have, ano ba mga example natin? Say we have example, isip tayo, sabihin natin uh, 3x squared minus 48 is equal to 0. So, yung numerical coefficient ng ating x squared dito is not equal to 1, pero ito ay 3 na ngayon. No? So, and then, we need to transpose that. 3x squared now equals to sign will change or applying addition property equality again. So, this will become equals to positive 48. Okay? So, positive 48. So, yung negative natin, transpose natin positive 48. Okay? So, this will become 3x squared is equal to 48, but we need to divide that into 3 both sides of our equation kasi ang purpose natin dito is magiging 1 yung numerical coefficient ng ating x squared. In uh, applying extracting square root, be sure din natin na yung numerical coefficient ng ating x squared ay magiging 1. No? Not negative 1, but it should be positive 1. Okay, so 3 divided by 3 is positive 1. So x squared now becomes 48 over 3 or 48 divided by 3 is equals to 16. Then apply extracting square root dito na ngayon. So becomes a square root of x squared is equal to plus or minus square root of 16. And then, so x now, wala yung squared natin doon. So magiging plus or minus or positive negative for since 16 or square root of 16 is equal to 4. So we have two values of x here. First, x is equal to positive 4. And we have x is equal to negative 4. No? So dalawa yung magiging value natin ng ating x dito. Okay? So another one, example, in order for us to solve. Suppose 
Uh, hanap tayo ngayon ng value ng ating radical na magiging say uh, hindi siya perfect square, no? So uh, hanap tayo ng example. Ano kaya magandang example? Suppose uh, halimbawa sabihin natin 2x squared minus uh, 40 is equal to 0. So again, same process katulad ng ating uh, example number 3 is we need to uh, transpose that then divide that later on ng ating uh, process ng 2 para magiging positive 1 yung numerical coefficient na ating x squared dito. Okay? So applying addition property of equality again para mawala yung negative 40 on our left hand side ng ating equation magiging 2x squared is equal to positive 40 on the right hand side. So titingnan natin by ocular by inspection titingnan natin yung numerical coefficient na ating x squared. So nagkataon na 2 ito, so we need to divide this by 2 also, not only on the left hand but we also divide that on the right hand side which is also equal to 2. So that 2 divided by 2 becomes equals to 1 or simply 1x squared or simply x squared. And then 40 divided by 2, nagkataon, which is uh, divisible by 2. And nagkaroon tayo ng result na 20. So, then extract square root, same doon sa ating process. Magiging square root of x squared is equal to plus or minus square root of 20. Okay, then we have x here, natitira dito sa ating left hand side. And this equals to plus or minus square root of 20. Ngayon, based on our inspection, nakikita natin that 20 here is not is not a perfect square. Hindi siya perfect square. So, anong dapat natin gawin? So, yung pinakagawin natin dito is, hahanap tayo ng other factor of 20 which is a perfect square. Ano kaya? No? Pwede natin sabihin uh, mga dahilan kung bakit 20 siya. Pwede natin sabihin 4 times 5 because 4 is a perfect square or 1 of the factor of this is a perfect square. Pero ang hinahanap natin dito is the greatest factor, perfect fact, uh, square na no factor. No? So nagkataon 4 times 5 is also equals 20. So we have here continuation, continue natin dito. We have x. We can write that is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 times square root of 5. Okay, then 4 is equals to 2, perfect square yan. So, x equals to plus or minus 2 square root of 5. So, we have here again two values of our x, which is x is equal to positive 2 square root of 5. And another value x is equals to negative 2 square root of 5. Okay. So, suppose we'd like to check this. Kung tama ba ito, no? yung dalawang value. Kahit isa lang kasi we are squaring that later on, is square natin yan. So, the sign will becomes positive. No? So, balikan natin yung original equation natin. We'll try to check this. So, we have 2 x squared minus 40 is equal to 0. That's our original equation. Palitan natin, let's say, fill it tayo dito sa dalawa. Halimbawa sabihin natin positive 2 square root of 5. We have 2 times... 2 square root of 5 square is equal minus 40 is, is equal to 0. Okay? So, square muna natin. So, using PEMDAS. So, we have 4 square root of 5. We have 5. This will become equal to 5. No? So, this is 4 times 5 minus 40 is equal to 0. Okay? So, 4 times 5, that is 20. So, we have 2 times 20 minus 40 is equal to 0. So, 20 times 20 is, uh, 2 times 20 is 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. So, makikita natin that 40 minus 40 is equal to 0 then 0 is equal to 0. So, meaning, these two values are the values of x that could satisfy the given quadratic equation based on sa pag-check natin sa ating original given quadratic equation. Okay, so salamat. So, see you tomorrow for another topic to be discussed 
under quadratic equation, solutions of quadratic equation. Thank you. Bye-bye.